you have a big change that is going to bring in positive results. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to your December reading. Something amazing is getting ready to happen. Um, and as I was asking for guidance before I start your reading, I'm hearing that some of you have really been going through some um, really challenges, a lot of struggles, and, and these changes are kind of rocking you around a little bit, wavering and feeling like, oh, is this really going to happen? But here's what's going on. The changes coming in are going to feel like everything is coming down, okay? But it's leading to this beautiful new beginning. You're going to end the year in a positive note, and it's going to carry over into the month of January. For a lot of you, it's going to be the entire month, I mean, the entire year of 2024. But it is going to be an amazing time where things are changing for the positive results. So let's take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn. And I welcome you guys, and I hope you're doing well. Let me pull these cards. I hope you had a nice holiday. I know I actually was sick. I don't get sick very often, but I'm in a different territory. I'm in Texas, and it's very uh, damp out here, and I actually got sick. That was my holiday. All right, you guys, you have, you've been analyzing, analyzing your security, analyzing your finances, your career, your family. You've been looking at everything over and over, and you are getting ready to say, I'm so done with this. I am going to go get my ninth cup. Now, if you guys remember in the tarot, the ninth cup, is saying that a wish is coming true, okay? You're going to get something that makes you feel alive, that makes you feel good. But there's a little bit of fear, there's a little bit of apprehension, most likely because of everything that you've been through, all of the challenges that have come through. But what they're telling me, you guys, is that you have really learned a lot. You have grown a lot over the last three to four years. You've learned about people. You've learned about all different aspects of life in general. And you're actually going to create not just a change, not just a new chapter. You're creating a new segment, a new cycle that is going to last a very, very long time. And it is going to be very, very positive. So you are literally going to walk and go get what makes you happy. And that is absolutely amazing. So Mercury is in retrograde, okay, um, in December, December 13th. But we have pre, which starts as, as far back as November 25th, and it will go as far out as January 20th. So we can feel the effects, especially for those of you who have heightened senses, which Capricorn, a lot of you guys do. There is just no two ways about it. An ending took place, and that's what I feel over the last three to four years. And it can be a different time frame, of course. But what you've been through, each situation, each experience comes with the sword. The sword represents knowledge. That is what we're talking about. The spiritual knowledge, the awakening, your ascending to a higher level of your own self, of your own life. And if you have family, they're coming with you. The ones that you want, of course. You don't have to bring them. The ones you don't want, you don't have to bring them. That's the beautiful thing. It's like you're going to be jumping into a different... Um, if you've under, uh, been learning about parallel universes, that's what you're going to be doing. Jump, doing this jump. And it's a higher uh, move. It's a higher level. You have the Ace of Wands here, right, with this Ace of Swords, and this is beautiful. So you've got the knowledge, you've got the wisdom, you've got excellent communication. You're more aware than you have ever been, and now you are going to get a fire lit under you. So do not fear. Do not fear the change that is coming, okay? It is actually going to be a benefit to you. We have the Two of Swords that flew out also, and this is feeling a little bit indecisive do i go for it or do i not now this is a general reading so you obviously you know would need to get a personal reading but even more important than that follow your own intuition 
Use the spiritual forces around you. you. Call upon your guides. Call upon your guardian angels. Call upon Archangel Michael and the entire spiritual team to help you through this at this time. It is going to be very, very good. You see, when we hit the 10, the next one, this is like going through all the different levels, okay? You, have, you know, when we go through grief, we have to go through all the stages of grief, from denial all the way to acceptance. And sometimes we stop. You know, we can go so far and then go back to denial. Wait, 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 and start all over again. But you have conquered it, and that's what they're saying. You've got, oops, I did that upside down. It didn't come out upside down. <laughs> um, they're saying that you are moving right into this new beginning, which you've been wanting and waiting for. And it's in your birthday season. How amazing is that, right? So as we go forward, Mercury in retrograde is also in your birthday season time frame. But it is going to be... It is going to feel like, like when you step down, it could even feel like the earth is moving under you. Okay. You are literally shifting. It's going to feel kind of spongy, kind of like, um, resistance. Like there's a resistance. Like if you have in a shoe, in a tennis shoe, there's a piece of foam in there that gives a little cush. You're going to feel this as you're moving through the month of December. And that is what's going to help you. Keep your balance so that you can really focus in on your own intuition, okay? Now, let's take a look at career projects, whatever is going on. That's your overall message for you guys. But let's see whoever and what you've got going on around you. We'll start with career. So, you have the moon card here, and that doesn't surprise me. The moon is actually, uh, the the moon phase cycle is right now as I'm recording this reading. And I didn't post it today. I meant to, but I took a picture of the moon with a huge circle around it. It looks like a big eye in the sky. So I'll be posting that on my website. It's free. You can join my newsletter if you choose to. The moon. This is the fear that I'm talking about. Something is hidden and yes, there's always something hiding. There's always something that we may not have seen. We aren't always seeing every single thing all the time. It is rare that we find anybody who is capable of doing that on a regular, ongoing basis. However, this Princess of Cups is going to tell you how to get past this so you can see clearly. You have a new partnership coming in, a new opportunity coming in. Now, this may be a uh, um, with a person who is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person is going to be very, very good at connecting you to this job. And I feel they are going to say, hey, did you know such, such and such is hiring? Hey, did you know they have a new opportunity you can get promoted? This has to do with a career, okay? This person's going to help you see what you cannot see. This is a very, very positive message. And this, for some of you, is a brand new opportunity that is going to come into uh, your neck of the woods. Again, and it does, I do see a woman, okay? It is a woman, and the card shows a woman, but I see a woman also. For some of you, it will definitely be a female, a feminine, uh, a divine feminine who is going to guide you into this new opportunity. Now, this may be a county or a city affiliate um, in your local area, especially for those of you who are in healthcare and emotional counseling. If you help people, counseling therapy, and you're looking, you're going to find that opportunity in December. I don't see you starting it until January, possibly even February, but you're going to get this. You're going to interview with it. And it's going to carry you into the new year. So it's very, very positive. For those of you with projects and things like that, you're going to find something out there that is going to be super exciting for you. Very exciting if you're looking for the funding that uh, uh, associates with getting a project up and going. Particularly, they're showing me with children. Okay, if it has to do with children, if it has to do with animals, and it has to do with well, I'm hearing the word agriculture, but what I'm seeing in my vision 
is a, a big field. Okay, so agriculture. Okay, this is going to be something that is going to lead you to. Uh, well, it's going to lead to abundance for those of you who are looking to get payouts. This is the funding that you need to get the project up and going, right? That is going to come through. Now, I don't feel the money is necessarily going to come in the month of December. It could. I feel you're going to be approved for it right as you cross over and the funds will come from the year next year. So they may be waiting to fund this project that you have been working on. Uh, until the new year comes around, but you are going to hear about it. The written uh, may come later. This is somebody telling you that this opportunity is going to come through. Now, let's take a look at family and friends, okay? Because that's your career and your projects, and it doesn't matter what you do for a living. Some of you, this is has to do with... Um, I see a garbage man, okay? So it may have to do with um, clearing out sites for trash and, and garbage removal or becoming a manager of a big plant. It, it, has, it can be anything that you do. So let's take a look at your family and your friends. You guys, this is going to be an incredible time for you because there is something that has been really holding you back. Again, you know, and you didn't, I didn't even show you this card. All right. This is the five of cups. Okay. And this comes before the tower card. So there was something that was lost, some a feeling that something ended, something was lost, but there is the opportunity next to you. Okay. It's right behind you. So if you lost something, you have this shakeup coming through, that's going to lead to this beautiful ace of swords. Whoever this is, if this is a family member who has really been pulling some stunts, I feel they threw you out of balance. Some of you, they borrowed money. They borrowed money. They took money. They took what wasn't theirs. And that is the tower. That is what you're feeling, the effects of that. You may have given it to them thinking everything is going to be okay. And then it's like, oh, no, what did I do? What did I do? And forgetting You've got something right here coming in, and the universe is going to give it to you in the month of December. Whoever this person is, okay, it may be you, okay, it is, it, we do have the devil, <laughs> okay, that's you, you little devil, you. This is a uh, communication going to come in that's going to help balance things out. If somebody borrowed money, they're going to talk to you about a repayment plan, about giving it back to you. And some of you, this is a family member who's going to need some help. And it's up to you whether you help them. Okay, I don't feel that this person who needs help is necessarily toxic. I feel it's somebody who just had, uh, um, well, they're saying that they have an opportunity coming in. So it looks like there's a gap. Okay, so it's like the job starts like in January, like January 8th or something, and then they don't have anything from now till January. So I feel you're going to help them out with that. But it's a very positive, this is very, very positive. Pay close attention to what they're saying. Okay, let me pull some more cards for this. Um, yeah, we got the King of Cups. We have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the Nine of Cups. So this is a family. This is something that you truly want. You like this person. You love this person, and they love you too. This may be a parent where you're even getting ready to put them into a um, senior A senior care facility, um, but it's for active seniors is what I'm seeing. I looked twice to see. It's, it's, it's not skilled. This is somebody who is going into an active senior care, and they need your help and support to get there. So you may be putting out a little bit to help them get there. That might be paying for the mover to come and help get their, their things moved over there. Whatever it is, it's going to be very, very positive with this. This is your wish, and some of you, I'm not going to lie, this is somebody you're trying to get out of your home and you're helping them to leave so that that is what's going to make you feel super happy. All right, you guys, let's take a quick peek at a romance card. All right. Now, I know that's family and friends, but let's see what they want you to know with romance. And of course, I'll be doing our December love reading very soon as well. 
religious factors. Your life is influenced by your beliefs and your upbringing. Okay, your life is influenced by your beliefs and your upbringing. So when it comes to meeting somebody this year, okay, if you are not with somebody, I feel that you will be looking at this whole situation differently. Um, you may not be the same religion, the same culture, the same background, but through everything that you learned and this new knowledge that you've gained over the last three to four years, you're going to see it in a different way. And you're going to make up your mind, not listening to anybody around you. You're going to decide if you can move forward with this individual. And others of you, this is a situation where you and your partner are going to suffer some heartbreak. Um, and I feel that even though it's painful it will be a benefit for both of you it's like um they're saying it is two years at least two years overdue where you may have been trying to get through this whole relationship thing without saying goodbye but yet now you will and i don't usually say that that is not a normal message that comes through me so it's a big deal for those of you who are hearing that message, leave us a comment, okay? Now let's pull another card and then we'll pull an angel card. Adversity. Now that's what we're talking about, okay? You've got a lot of adversity, but with adversity comes, with the challenges comes the opportunity for success. And that's exactly what you are dealing with in the month of December. All the struggles, all the challenges, everything you've been through is leading you to this moment. This is your big moment. This is your big month, okay? It's not just about your birthday. This is a big deal. So let's pull a guided message from your angels. Spend time alone in nature, okay? Make quiet time. Pray, meditate, and take time to think, okay? And, and connect your mind with your heart and your entire body so that you're in alignment so you can actually hear your guardian angels talk to you so you can make the decisions with clarity with heart love and logic and that's called discernment you guys have an amazing december it is going to be a really really great ending to the year much love